my scholars, let's look at Teague 4.2a. I can interpret, which, it, which means um, like understand and be able to figure out the value of each place value position as 10 times the position to the right and as one-tenth of the value of the position to its left. This is a little hard to understand. I will show you um, place value, a place value chart, so the T will make more sense that way. So let's get started. So before I get started going into the times 10 situation, I wanted to review what the place value blocks for all of these look like. Now, if you've seen my other videos, I talk about what the place value blocks for these represent, and then I have another video that talks about place value blocks for decimals. So let's focus on this right now. Let's just push that over and let's just focus on ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So the ones blocks look like this. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. The tens block, I actually left the good ones at school and I had to just make some. So it looks like that. Maybe if I just scoop that back a little so you can get an idea. Then the hundreds block, I had to make because again, I forgot it at school. And then the thousands block looks like this. Okay? So, <clears throat> so um, essentially what I, I want to try to help you understand is that each place value position is 10 times to the right and 1 tenth to the left. So let's ignore... The one tenth right now. Let's just focus on ten times to the right. Each place value position as ten times the position to the right. So looking at this, we're saying this is ten times the value to the one on the right. When we look at this, we're saying this is ten times the value to the what's on the right. This is ten times the value to what's on the right. Okay, so we know whatever we're looking at, this is 10 times whatever to the right. So starting with the ones, if I have one block, okay, and I had that, so then I would have one, okay? Now, if I took this and I did 1 times 10, What do I get? I get 10, okay? If I put 10 pieces right here, can 10 show up in that one little spot? No, it can't. So instead, we take these 10 pieces, and I'm gonna leave one right there just so you can understand, and we, we change it into this. And so now, whoa, we have one tens block and zero ones blocks. This is 10 times the value of what's over here. That's why I left one piece over there, even though that's zero now, but you know, this is 10 times the value as what's over here. So 10 times the position to the right. So now if we look at this, if I have a tens block, which has a value of 10, okay, one of these is 10, and I do times 10, what am I gonna get? What's 10 times 10? Imagine 10 of these, I would get 100, okay? If you've seen my other video, I talk about counting zeros. I don't have, um, I think these are 10, but just imagine that I have 10 of these, and now it becomes one of these. So now I have one hundreds block and now I'm over here. So this is 10 times the value of this. A hundreds block is 10 tens. A tens block is 10 ones. Do you notice that pattern? Times 10, times 10. So same thing. If I have 10 of these, Some of these have lines on them, some of them don't, but you get the idea. If I have a hundreds block and I have 10 of them, what do I get? 
I get a thousand. Okay, counting my zeros. Three zeros in my answer. So then I get one of these. Okay, so one times ten is ten. Ten times ten is a hundred. A hundred times ten is a thousand. And then same thing, even though don't, I don't have the blocks for it, 10 thousands blocks equals 10,000. 10,000 times 10 equals 100,000. 100,000 times 10 equals a million. I mean, it just keeps going, times 10, times 10, times 10, times 10. So bringing this into the picture, just real quick, if I had 10 of these, 10 pennies, Okay, if you've seen my video about decimals, I strongly recommend you watch that before you go on further with this video. 10 pennies equals a dime. 10 dimes equals a dollar. 10 $1 bills equals $10 bills. 10 $10 bills equals a $100 bill. 10 $100 bills equals a $1,000 bill. It's the same concept, okay? So what I do to kind of help my students visualize is when we fill this out, let me just zoom in right there. When we fill this out, we, we do this. We show that and we write that's times 10 from here to here. That's times 10 from here to here. That's times 10. Okay. So if I were to go from ones to a hundreds, that would be times a hundred because you're jumping to, to um, 10 groups of 10. So if I were to jump here, that would be times a thousand. So now let's go backwards. Suppose I had one a one thousands, one of a thousands block. Okay, so this. So the teak says, so we've, we've accomplished, accomplished 10 times the position to the right. So whatever's here is 10 times to what's over there. So now we have one tenth of the value of the position to its left. So whatever this is, it's one-tenth of what's on the left of it. So let's not worry about ten thousands. Let's just look at a thousands block and a, a hundreds block. So if I have a hundreds block, how many again does it take to make one of these? It takes ten, right? So if this is times ten this way, then going backwards, if it takes 10 of these to make one of these, then this is one-tenth of this. I hope that makes sense. Let me give you a visual. Let me give you a visual. Imagine that this is a thousands block, okay? And I want you to pretend there's 10 of these stacked in it, right? Because we said 10 of these makes one of these. Pretend this is 3D. Pretend like it's thicker. It's stacked. Here, look. Look at the stack. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And obviously each one has one. Okay? So just pretend they're stacked like that. So just one of these that I have, that's 1 out of 10. Okay? So that means this hundreds block... This hundreds block is one tenth of this. This hundreds block is one tenth of this. So that's what they're trying to say. One tenth of the value of the position to its left. So here's the thousands block, or here's the hundreds block section. On its left side is the thousands. So this is one tenth to the value of the position on its left. So a hundreds block is one tenth of a thousands block. Now let's go to the tens block. Thousands is out of the picture. 
I don't even need to call that thousands now. I'm going to call this a hundreds block. How many of these make this? We discussed that 10 of these makes one of these. So that means, now this is where I can really explain what I'm talking about. Do you see that? It's kind of like a repeat of this. That means this tens block is one tenth of this. One tenth, a one tens block is one tenth of a hundreds block. So then same thing. When I have a ones block, see how it fills up that one little piece? That's one out of 10. One ten, one, oh, sorry, one ones block is one tenth of a tens block. So now imagine that's like a really wide tens block, or hey, I can even, I can fix that just like that. That's all we gotta do. So a ones block is one tenth of a hundreds block, uh, a, a tens block. A tens block is one tenth of a hundreds block. A hundreds block is one tenth of a thousands block, and so on and so forth. So then what I tell my kids to help them understand is that now when you're going, so like we talked about this way, right? The arrows times 10 times 10 times 10. So now we're going backwards this way. This is divide by 10. If you're going this way, your numbers are increasing, right? So times 10. When you're going this way, you're dividing by 10. So it's 1 tenth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth, 1 tenth, same thing. So this part is really easy to understand. The tricky part is the decimals. So I'm going to, um, in a second, in this next video clip, strictly talk about decimals because where people get confused is where does the decimal go and how do we change that? Okay, so let's talk about decimals. So the tenths place, we use these, the tens block, because we think of the tenths place as dimes because a dime is one-tenth of a dollar. A dime is worth 10 cents. This is how it's written without the zero. So that's why you use the tenths block because a dime is 10 cents, so 10. Think of these as 10 pennies making a dime. And then the hundreds, the hundreds place, we actually use a ones block because we think of pennies in the hundreds place and we think of a hundred pennies making a dollar. So one of these is one penny, it's one cent, okay? So that's just a brief inter introduction. I explain it more in detail in my other video. So now, same thing as I explained when we went from ones to tens to hundreds to thousands. When I'm going from hundreds to tenths, when I have 10 pennies, okay, you can't put 10 right there. You, you jump and replace those 10 pennies for a dime. So a dime or a tenths block is 10 times the value of a hundreds block. So then... <clears throat> When I have 10 dimes, when I have 10 of these, okay, then I have a dollar. Now for this, we use this because 10 of these make this. And so temporarily we use this as a ones block because this is like a dollar. A hundred pennies equal a dollar or 10 dimes equal a dollar. So in this situation, when it's decimals, it's a little reversed. So... Um, ten hundredths, um, or one hundredths, let me write the math problem out. When I have one hundredths and I'm multiplying it by ten, this is where people get confused because they're like, I don't know how to multiply decimals. All you need to know is that decimal is now shifted to right here, okay? So it's now in the tenths place, point one. That's all you gotta know. And then when you have point one, when you have one tenth times 10, you know you're gonna end up with a dollar. 
So same thing, you take that and you shift it to the right, and now you have one whole. And we've talked about this in other videos that there's always that invisible decimal, but when you're using whole numbers and there's nothing after it, then you don't put that decimal there. So then, if I have one whole, now let's, let's kind of shift back into this. When I have one times 10, I now have 10. When I have 10 times 10, I now have 100. When I have 100 times 10, I now have 1,000. So this is just a brief introduction of that um, place, this teak here. So 10 times to the position to the right and as one tenth of the value to the position to its left. So real quick, going backwards, um, again, if this was a hundredths and this was tenths, this hundredths is one tenth of this. So looking at this real quick, the tenths block, the hundreds block is one tenth of a tens block, tenths block.